Yeah, so you guys have seen this. Pr it's pretty simple. So mm. your character is very open-minded, very loving. Your character is very obnoxious, selfish, doesn't care, has that loud, piggish laugh. <laughs> so pretty much is this. So <laughs> Perfect, thank you. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Yeah, I think, yes. I think we're good to go. We're good. So you guys come into the cafe, you get a seat for her, okay. and you guys just start talking. It's right up my alley. Yeah. I'm an actor. She's not. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> All right. We'll see about that. Okay. <laughs> so scene one, take one, action. Wow. You have a really nice taste in cafes. Thank you. Here's a seat for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Would you like some coffee? Yeah, I like mine black. Okay. Iced coffee, no sugar, no milk. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. Oh, oh, well, okay. <laughs> I'll be back. Coffee for you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> What's up? So, um, what do you do? Tell um, me about, about what you do. Well, oh, me, like right now, I actually um, intern at a production company that specializes in reality television. So. Mm. And I never knew that our love could be so. Uh, oh, okay. Well, anyways, what we do here uh, at the production company is and we. And I never knew that our love could be so bittersweet. Basically, at the production. And I never knew that our love would be so bittersweet. Woo! I am so sorry, but it's just that when you're in the moment and you got a groove, you just you just go with it, you know. <laughs> Anyways, back to you. Um, yeah. So, anyway, that picture. Is it you? No, it's not me, but I just thought that maybe if I put another picture up, more guys would message me. I mean, there are some guys that actually don't go based off just looks. But some you messaged me, though, based on my picture, right? Yeah. I mean, from what I see now, you're not that bad. So. Um, what's going on? Um, what's happening here? Girl? Um, are you trying to take my part? <laughs> okay, honey, it's not stealing. No, no, <laughs> it's no, 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 it's, it's, it's not like that. He wanted the role. So he wanted to like? be something better. <laughs> better? No, wait, hold up, Beverly, please tell okay, them that okay, I did not um, want okay, this to be better, better, honey. You know what, you the know what, we're going to sit here better. and just okay, say yeah, this coffee, but that's the tip. Because what we Let do is we host. We host, but I will also host by reading the girls. Okay, yeah, just want to give them a Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank yeah, you for the yeah, chance. Yeah, yeah. He's good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'll okay. go over there for now. Yeah, but I'm, I'm staying right here. Yeah, you, know, you better. Mm, you better not. Um. <laughs> okay. Huh. Don't worry, Devon. You know I had your back, and that's all that matters. Yeah, okay. You got my back. You better have back, front, side, upper, level, everything. Welcome to another installment of yeah. Nightcap's Career Day series, where we seek to give you the viewer a rare peek into non-traditional career paths. Yes. If you have not been following this series, then you know we opened it with a music video director and filmmaker Jordan Ray. Yes, and if you recall, that's the show that Beverly abandoned me for. I was all by myself because she wanted to go off and mentor and go on a nice vacation in a nice hotel with people My serving. My mentee needed me. I Actually, need... I have three. Oh, ain't so... no Rihanna, okay? I needed you. <laughs> Don't let it happen again. Anyway, Jordan was amazing and has, he has done some amazing and interesting work. Oh, sorry, you know, girl, this coffee got me shook. <laughs> <laughs> I really wish I could have met him, but from what you yeah, told you me, didn't he was meet awesome. Yeah, you because wasn't here. Oh my goodness, okay. I will be here next time, and on this show, we have another filmmaker, but she, okay, S-H-E. She. Is representing for all the women directors out there. 22-year-old Brianna Abdullah started making movies in her teens, and in just the span of three years, she has under her belt a number of short films, including First Love, Class, Wanna Fix a Flat, and most recently, Bittersweet. Yes, the scene you saw me slay at the start of the show before we were rudely interrupted is the From the Film, which stars actor Omari Smith, who was really great in the film, but not better than me in this. Let's get before we get Thank you so much, Amari, for coming along. We appreciate you for being here because what do we get? A two for one deal. Yes. And here at Nightcap, we love the deals. Now, we can also get a little sneak peek inside of the world of acting. 
Let's also <laughs> Let's take a look at that. <laughs> Seeing while we go have a seat afterwards, Girl, yeah, yeah, yeah. we are going to talk to the amazing, wickedly talented Amari and the beautiful Brianna about the experience with the art of movie making. <laughs> no, I figured since you wanted to steal lines, you know I steal that one. <laughs> Girl, don't, don't steal my coffee, okay? Get your life, like I said, roll that clip in these streets and that's the gag. <laughs> Call me back, delete the message, text me, call me, beat me if you wanna reach me, okay? <laughs> Bye. Hi, you must be Aaron. Hi, and you must be... Rose, yeah, this is me. Rose, right. Yeah. And you got me a rose! Oh, how ironic! <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> after you, wow, you have really great taste in cafes. Thank you. For you. Oh, thank you. Would you like some coffee? Yes. I like mine's black. Iced coffee, no sugar, no milk. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. Coffee for you. Thank you, sir. Um, so tell me about your job. Oh, yeah, sure. So, well, what I do now is um, I'm an intern for a production company where we specialize in reality TV. And I never knew that our love could be so... And, um, what we do is... And I never knew that our love could be so bittersweet. Sweet. And um, what else we do is... And I never knew that our love could be so bittersweet. Yeah! Oh, I'm so sorry about that. You know, so I, I didn't mean to do that. It's just that when you're in the moment, you just got to groove with it, you right. know? Just... Anyways, back to you. So, yeah, um, your picture, is that you? No, it's not me, but... I just thought that if I put up a prettier picture, then more guys would message me. I mean, there are some guys that don't go based on looks, you know? Some go for personality, like me. How do you know that? Because obviously, you messaged the girl in the picture. I mean, from what I see now, you're not that bad looking. Look, Aaron, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to lie to you about the way that I look. It's just that the way everything I told you, that's all me. And even though I may have over-exaggerated about the picture just a smidge, you know, the laugh and the way I dress, that's all me. Except for today. See, I had an audition. And, um, you know, sometimes, occasionally, on Fridays, often, I'll, I'll dress like this. But I'll wear matching stockings. This is me. Okay. <laughs> let's, just, let's just start all over again. Okay? okay. So, my name is Aaron. I work for... A production company that specializes in reality TV. I mostly do camera work, and what we, what, um, yes, yeah, so yeah, so. Um, mm, that's good. Right now, I see you're not interested on what I have to say, and I don't think I'm interested in you anymore. So wait, 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 wait. I, I thought, you. but I thought you looked past my picture. I mean, I did. I looked past your fake picture. You know the way you dress, your obnoxious laugh. But obviously you're being selfish right now, so I'm just gonna go ahead. Wait, Aaron, don't go. I mean, I thought this was going really well. Just come back and I'll be different this time. You expect me to sit down with you after you forgot my name? Aaron? Aaron. Aaron? Aaron? Oh my god. 
if you're just now tuning in, that was a scene from the short film, Bittersweet, written and directed by Brianna Abdullah and starring Amari Smith. For those of unfamiliar with the term, what is a short film? A short film is pretty much what you, like a 10 minute, yeah, 10 to 15 minute clip um, of a film, pretty mm -hmm. much, yeah. Mm. Yeah, so Bittersweet, Bittersweet, sorry, has been screened at, you know, a few festivals. So what has been the response for the film and your performance? The film, um, everyone would say it's funny, it's inspirational, it's memorable. Yeah, that's pretty much very yeah. funny. I'm sorry yeah. that 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 scene in the diner. That's so funny. I mean, that the cafe was that was too funny. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Her sipping the coffee was genius. That was genius. Yeah, so give us all the goods on Bittersweet, uh, the storyline, the backstory, inspiration for it, because I see a lot of influence coming from like social media and like, mm -hmm. you know, the whole catfish, catfish move, movement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So tell us about that. The backstory. So pretty much it's from my experience with online dating. So I wanted to use it from a guy's perspective to make it more universal. And I chose online dating because it's, some, it's an issue that's, that's really affecting everyone nowadays, but I wanted to make it into like, a comedy aspect. You know, so yeah. I love that you flipped the the, the genre, ro uh, the genre, gender roles. Mm -hmm. That was really, yeah. really clever. I want to also challenge myself as a writer to just yes. book it. Yeah, <laughs> I like how you used humor, but there was also a serious undertone mm -hmm. to it because we all know that catfishing is a problem. It's it a is. problem. Yeah, where's really? Neve? <laughs> Neve, it's Neve a problem. And Neve, Max. 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 Neve and Max, yeah. it's a problem. Honestly, it is. Okay, so what's the story behind the title? The title, Bittersweet, is pretty much like love could be bitter or sweet. You could either mm -hmm. take it as bitter or sweet. That's what Aaron went through. He went through so much. Yeah, <laughs> so much. <laughs> so how long did it take from conception to completion? Actually, so this is, you should tell it, how, how, it, well, how it came to be a little bit. <sighs> One night I was just chilling, just, you know, enjoying my night. Mm -hmm. And I get a text from Brianna. She's like, oh, well, I just made a short film, so I want you to be the star in it. So I'm like, all right, just send the sides or whatnot. Send the character information. Mm -hmm. So she sends me it. So it's, like, really far from, like, what I'm doing. I'm used to being, like, the funny one, the big character and everything. And it's just, it was just so boring. So I was just like, all right, you know, I'll just take the challenge or whatnot. <laughs> so then we filmed on a Saturday. We filmed in like December? Yeah, November. It did November. look very cold yeah, and gray. It was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it had to be like January, December. Yeah. yeah. It was like, no, it was November. Yeah, November, remember, December. Yeah. And, and, and like, okay, so the script, it took me, okay, originally it was supposed to be a six minute short and it was supposed to end. Yeah, it was supposed to end like at me and Rose's yeah, encounter. Yeah, But then she texted us. Like, I was out like, of nowhere during, I was like, I was like, just the waters. I was just like, you know what, I really, I want to expand it. I feel like the story needs to be expanded. Yes. And I just texted him, and then within that week, we did it. And then it took, like, filming through completion. It took from November to at least January to okay. complete it. Complete I, edit. And I just want to say I love the ending. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, love the ending. So <laughs> thank God she finished it up and, yeah. you know, gave it that. I just want to take a note on how you said you're not used to doing that role. A good yeah. actor is versatile, so it's good that you took that. Yeah, so you have congrats on that for like thank you. everywhere, yeah. you know? Yeah. yeah. So it's good that it you was, did that. yeah, I think her. I want to challenge him with it. That's yeah. good. I'm yeah. going through a really challenge, like a really challenging role right now mm -hmm. in oh, an yeah. upcoming project. Yeah, that we'll talk about so, later. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, that was a challenge. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's like really hard. Yeah. Like, to the point where I can't be depressed. Can anymore. you give a scoop? Oh, like, wow. is it a is it a mean role? Are you? It's sad? a comedy. Like behind the scenes. It's a comedy drama okay. in a way. Yeah. Friendsh yeah. Friendship. Drama. Drama. Friendship. You want to tell a little bit? Just, just a little. Oh, she's they giving us a secret to project. Say, <laughs> it's a secret say, project. Like, ca character. No, no. So your character. Right. So my character mm -hmm. is basically me, like an actor going to college, but it's not me. Like I, mm. I don't have a good life. But it's not what as is sad. A good life, exactly. You know? What, what is, is a good life? Yeah. What is that? I should have never said that. No, but it's fine. Um, his father. His father. His father died. Yes. Oh, okay. And throughout no. like like a bad lifestyle, like oh, not taking care of his body and whatnot, yeah. and he lives with his 
uncle. abusive uncle. Yeah. Yikes. But not like physically abusive. No. It's like, like verbal. So it's verbal. a very dark comedy. It's a yeah. Yeah. It's like it's a few yeah. laughs. Well, I can't wait to see it. Yeah. Because exactly. you're a great writer, so I can't wait to see it. Yeah. So now I'm about to get up all up in your wallet. Your wallet. You. Because when uh, filmmaker Jordan Riggs was here, he told us it only took him $200 to make his video that was amazing, which was live. So <laughs> you have to raise your right hand, all right? Do you, right? Raise your right hand. <laughs> no, I think that's No, right. you're right. right. No, no, it's like you got to do this and L is yeah. for left. And, and then this is this for right. right. Yeah. yeah okay. Right. So. Yes. Okay. This, wow. This is harder than it should have been. <laughs> See, this is why uh, I'm not an okay. <laughs> So do you swear to tell the truth and nothing but the truth right now? Yes. So help you guys. How much did you spend on making this short film? Honestly? Honestly, true, like with all the food and stuff. Yes, two literally like a, about what between one fifty and two hundred dollars. Y'all are lying. Um, no, y'all no, are lying. No, it was really that you're lying, yeah. and I'm gonna tell y'all why they're lying because it's such great quality, mm. and it, that's what makes it amazing. Like I'm obviously kidding about them lying, but it makes it more amazing when you find out that it was just, it just, you know. It, it Being took, able to stay within a budget and still make it so good. Yeah. So the thing I like about Brianna though is like. I'm not just an actor in the film. Like I'm also like, she she acts for like creative advice and mm -hmm. like what should we do. So I'm like, all right, I know it's like we don't want to spend a ton of money. That's great. So yeah. what can I do? Like, That's I'm, I'm like a producer. Have, and like, like I always want to do something. That's yeah. good. So yeah. like I'm like, it's great to have that yeah. relationship because some directors and some actors they will do a movie together and then later on you'll see like the tabloids <laughs> or whatever on the headlines. Oh, this actor doesn't like this director. Mm -hmm. They have yeah. this. They had like yeah. a bad relationship exactly. on set. Yeah. yeah. Stuff, but like yeah. everything is cool vibes. Like she'll be like, well, what can, like, he help me with this? And I'll be like, yeah, you can do that, mm -hmm. this. It's like actor, producer, creative director, mm -hmm. editor. Mm -hmm. Give us titles. <laughs> yes. Give us titles. But yes. it's all about like building our portfolio together. Yeah. Like I want to see the succeed. And a, so I'm an always. An artistic atmosphere. I'm what always creating resume? a certain. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. It, it better be on the resume too. Yeah, yeah. of course. Yes. It better <laughs> be because that's so a lot of credit. Yes. Okay. <laughs> So, Omari, in the film, you play the main character, Aaron, who's looking for love. Let's take a look at another clip. His name is Aaron. He's about five nine, like two hundred pounds. But I like, you know, I like my man's chunky. <laughs> like, oh my God, he's so cute. I just couldn't understand why he picked me out of all girls, you know. But I'm so happy. I'm meeting him here at the park, you know. I'm gonna sit here and wait for him, cause um, he's running a little late, or I'm just early. You know, early bird catches the worm. <laughs> oh my God, that was so, first of all, that was genius. That, that scene was is so alone. Oh my God. I gotta tell you how I came yes, up with that character. Yes, tell us how you came up with that, please. Well, okay, um, it's interesting. How did I, I don't, I just. First of all, that's her uncle. It was my <laughs> uncle. I just, um, I just wanted to create something, a, a wake up call for Aaron's yeah. character, like, there needs to be an escalation, you know? And I just want to create something funny. We needed a farcidic moment yeah. in the film to make it, like, hilarious. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was hilarious. And I love, um, I don't know, because I pay attention to detail a lot. I love mm. when the door would open, so he gave it an extra push, mm. like this dramatic yeah. push. <laughs> Too funny. Too funny. And I was here for the details, you know? You showed the earrings. Yeah, and his more. voice sounds just like a woman. Yeah. I love that. You let us see the purse, what he had on. Yes, and right. the just like, okay. Let the girls know what you're doing. We think it's with. a woman, but the, then, yeah. The, the nails was done. Mm -hmm. The bag was done. That was all. That was all my uncle's idea to do the nails. He was like, "Let me do the errands," and, it, and I was like, "All right." And those door knockers, I can't. It was That's all like, oh, improvised too. Like I would just give him direction. He was like, "All right, just go for it." That's it. That was That's so good. You got family <laughs> members who support you. Yeah, it's always good for that. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so um, <laughs> describe what the process was like for you um, being a part of this film. Was it grueling? What was it? It was really fun. Like, I knew everybody mm -hmm. that was literally in the film. It was like a big family. Um, me and Holly, 
All right, I'm, I was, I was eight, yeah, I'm still 18, what the hell? Mm -hmm. um, I'm like, I'm 17. I was 18, and Holly's like 20, 27, a lot of like, it's a big age gap. And me and her grew up together. So it was like, I worked with Holly, Ben knew her, so it was like, easy to connect. Then, but the thing what? is, but I don't think I don't think you guys knew you guys were working together. We didn't. Like awkward, we showed right? up on set, and I was like, I did that on purpose. Holly, to and then she was like, Amari, and I'm like, wait, we're in this together. And she's like, yeah. So I'm mm -hmm. like, she's walking on oh, set, God. and she was walking around, yeah, <laughs> just doing like. This <laughs> and then when and then when Holly came, she's like, but the gag is, it's Holly, honey. <laughs> That's funny. And then um. Mark, I knew Mark because I'm yeah, like, my that's mm -hmm. like my sister. Mm -hmm. oh. yeah. That's like his sister with an AH. Nightcap. We're sisters and brothers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and what else? Mark. So I knew Mark. That's like yeah. my uncle Mark. And then the. And then um, should we tell who? Fran? Should we friend. Oh, yeah. She that's my the best, best friend. friend. Her sister. Mm -hmm. Friends. So yeah. me and Fran, like me and Fran yeah, go to school together. Character. I know Fran. Just so Fran. I was like Just like other yeah, yeah. just uh, we just okay. gathered our friends. And the reason why I wanted them to not know um they were um they were playing opposites is because I just wanted to create that tension, that challenge between them. So yeah, just create that pretty much. Awesome, yeah. awesome. So I know for every actor it's different. Like yeah, I'm sure for every actor it's different. Um in terms of studying lines, like the way I study my lines, is mm. I've never heard someone like say, oh, I do that too. I wait for the other person I'm in a scene with mm -hmm. and then, you know, I'll go off of their last word of their mm -hmm. line. Mm -hmm. And if it's a monologue, I'll just like read it over and over one sentence and get it done with. And then I like mm -hmm. number them in my head. I sound like a psycho, but mm -hmm. it works, I'm telling you. So for you, how does that go for you? How do you learn your lines? How do you study them? Get them in the well, um, I didn't know any of my lines. Yeah, because it was like, one of these moments. Like, it was like, oh, this is the like, line. It was like one of those moments where you look at it and be like, all right, this is the base. Let's just mm. make it juicy. Oh. And that's, yeah. So I you do that one. So, like, we had the. How you did some improv. Like 70% improv. Yeah. He made and the, 30%. They made the script so much better. Like, the script I okay. thought was kind of okay. And then. Once he brought a level, I was like, all right, do this. Okay, so he knew the basis right. of the script, yeah. and he just went off of what he So, knew, like, I'd be like, line mm, let's just do this. See, you did what I do when I forget the lines. Yeah. <laughs> if I forget the lines, then I'll improv it, but I know the gist of it. Like, if the line mm -hmm. is, I'm going to go to the store now, I'll be like, girl, I'm going to just walk to the store and mm -hmm. get sure. some of this. And, yeah. then, and then if I see somebody nodding, like, oh, okay, mm -hmm. I got it, I got it. Like, uh, like I'm a theater actor, too, so, like, theater, you have to, like, Mm. Do line for line. If yeah. you don't, then that's disgusting. Oh, yeah, sure. Right. You're disgusting to the craft. Mm. Yeah. But like since I knew Brianna, I'm like Brianna, like I'm not gonna say this. Mm. I I'm sometimes I wish, but I was like, you know <laughs> what? No, I no. <laughs> So um what is it like for you being on set as a uh, actor and as a director? How is it for you guys? You go first. Go first. All right. Aww. Director wise, it's really fun. I get to collaborate with different actors. I like to um, I, I, I work with certain actors a certain way with him. It's more like he knows his lines, so I don't have to like kind of mentor him through it. With other actors, I have to sit down with them. So I like to I, I like a challenge sort of way. So it's pretty fun. Like I'm always open to new ideas. Actors are always open, so it's cool. Me, it was so fun, so <laughs> fun. Like That's I just it. I just love acting with Brianna, oh and like God, I just love. Uh, no, I'm not. Okay. Gonna. It was a, you was so should I cry? He had the, the cry voice. Academy Award. <laughs> yeah. Get that Oscar. <laughs> yes. If you can. Yeah, but it was like <laughs> really fun, a good creative environment. Professionalism was like mm -hmm. on top. Like it was just really fun. I love that. Okay, so you keep saying how fun it was, how great it was working I with know, her, how I great it was so on like, set. Did Brianna ever go off? Like, did anything no, ever No, like, like, she never, like, really? nobody went off. Mm. No, and that's, like, with any film that she's really? ever done, You should talk to our off. producer, because she just be going off. Just off. Like, just, like, girl, just like, no, off. no shade. Like, I know you're watching no right shade. now. Sit. No shade. I love you. You're amazing. <laughs> you're an amazing woman. But, child, if... If the line you is, how are you, if the you line is fired. wait, if the line is how you doing, I say how you been. She gonna come mm -hmm. out here and be mm -hmm. like, I said, it's how how are you? See do? now we gotta run it back. 
Now you're we not gotta run it back. Our time. Now you gotta say how you doing. He's gonna get fired. <laughs> <laughs> he's not, he's not, he's not. No, I'm not gonna get Tamar. Did you go off no. though, Brianna? Like secretly? Just a little bit when? to you that one time. Oh, one time. <gasps> you were just like, I want this, I want that, and I'm like, what? You can't. She's, because, like, like, she's like, but I'm the director though. I know that's like one thing I'm still working on. You know what's crazy? I was like, <laughs> I wouldn't say thrown. I'm sorry. You know, God gives you what He gives you. But when I was in high school, I was like thrown into directing because mm. my like the main director. I was like, we would do like these showcases where everything is in one show. Mm. And I wrote a script for something. I'm like, okay, yeah, this is this. Are you She's like, no, you go get the people that you want and you do it. And then I had to do it for like two years straight. And like, so basically directing was just like, like cool. And then if I had to go off on someone, I would do it. I would do it separately. Mm. Like I fired someone before. Ooh. <sighs> Scandal. Mm. And <laughs> <laughs> I just, you know, like I did it like, you know, girl, you're not doing what I need the girls to do. And then that was it. So, was, good that you didn't really go off. I wasn't like off, but I was just like, let me find my peace right. within reach. And she was like, yeah. girl. <laughs> and they just got it together. And I was he like, all right. his eyes. He's like, okay. <laughs> I just got it together. Oh, that's so funny. So, you hear stories about actors and directors, you know, not getting along well. But as we can see, you guys get along so well. You guys are best friends. So, we how don't is get it? along when we're editing. Ooh, not editing. Like, editing. Like, 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 like when I, like, okay. sometimes I'll be, like, okay. like, if I'm just, like, chilling at the house, like, we hang out, I'll be like, because I don't like Brie, let me see that um footage that we filmed. And then when it's, like, me, her, and Ariel, then it's just, like, oh, Brie, that's a good filter. Oh, my God. And then it's, like, Brianna, can you, like, take that shot out? I look really fat. Mm. And she's, like, no, I like it. And I'm, like, no, we have to film it again. And she's, like, no. Like, <laughs> That's so annoying. It's, it's like, like, you know. Like, it's you like when you take a group picture it. and your friends look nice and right. you don't. And, and you like, don't. Yeah, I want to put it Girl, up. So, but then I always Sometimes trust I her direction. Po I just post yeah. it with the friends without me. Yeah. yeah. But then I always trust her direction because Absolutely. it's like so, like you can't, first of all, I can't even, like that's disgusting for me no. to go like that. Not but then like I always know like her work is going to be the best. Yeah. Right. You believe in her. Yeah. yeah. So when you're on set, like how do you guys maintain focus being like, okay, we are best friends. But right now, I'm going to need separate. you to... Yeah, because it happened when I was in my little high school directing gig, whatever. It was just like some friends Shame. didn't agree with me telling them what to do. But it was just like, okay, I have a job yeah. and you have a job. And we have to yeah. put those things together and put our friendship aside yeah. to... You know, well, it does come with a contract, and... Yeah, we do. Oh, like, before, contract. like, we have to sign a contract. Girl, and also, shot, and also... My face, my face. Girl! <laughs> It's a contract. She said, yeah. always it's a, a contract. contract. <laughs> like you sign, like <laughs> That's you sign how she your life to, to She's you like, it's a contract. It makes, it makes even the actor think like, okay, this dress yeah, is really this serious. is real. Yeah. It's yeah. Really like, you, like, like you sign your life. And then it makes you guys' craft stronger, <laughs> the fact that you guys yeah. are best friends mm -hmm. and are, you know, willing, able, and more professional to just actually like, okay, mm -hmm. I'm the director and you're the actor. Love it. We try oh, to yeah, get like all the jokes out first. Yeah. Like the, like, yeah, last, the yeah. like last yes. Sunday, we shoot, but laugh. if you would see, honestly, let's have a full episode of us just doing stuff behind beforehand. the scenes, jokes, 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 jokes. When we get, and we're just like, welcome to Night Cat, Devon Irmans. Oh my God, oh, that's so funny. But that's really great. So mm. kudos to you guys. So what would you say is the most difficult part about shooting? Is it the lighting, no, the sound, the cameras. actors? Wait, 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 can you wait what? <laughs> okay, during <laughs> like there was um, in, in, in the cafe scene. Oh no, there was some takes where like crackheads were just coming in the shot. Oh man, well yeah. they wanted to be in the movie. So they were like, they would be like, y'all filming the film? Oh shoot, let me get in on the. Y'all need me to walk past? And then Brianna would be like. Can you just please walk past? And then we had a, we had like two production assistants, like one at that corner and yeah. one at the other corner, mm -hmm. and they're like blocking people off. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's what's up. Oh, so did and you get, like music. did you go on the cafe and you know be very you know bougie like here's my license to be here? <laughs> oh, the way it started yeah. was like so. Shout out to Best Side Pop Up. I'm um, one of my Donna. One Wait. of my associate Bedside producers Pop -up. Pop -up. of, okay, of the film, and also shout out to Mike. De Zayas, who's o who was the owner of the cafe. Hey y'all. Okay. So hey, yeah, that's how. She got good nips. So pretty much before I even was in the ca cafe, I, I needed a, a location, and it mm -hmm. took, well, it took a week to secure the location and to start filming right. within that week. So that's how it happened, pretty much. But yeah, um, answering your question, the shooting and stuff, like it was pretty 
I wasn't as challenging because I had like a cinematographer on the first day, but then once I wanted to expand the film, I was just filming it myself, so it wasn't as hard because like, because like I studied film for like four and a half years, so it was pretty fun. Was, yeah. Awesome. So as an actor, what was the most difficult part uh, for you being on set? My attention. Oh, you have a short attention span. So like we were walking, like the um. It was like New Year's Eve, mm -hmm. so like we had to get ready for church late at night. Yes. So, praise the Lord. Yes, you got to No shade, Jesus. I don't. I don't go to church on New Year's. I do, Lord. Girl, because you know, Every Sunday, it's just like, girl, Pentecost. like we. Um, uh, like my my dad. Same thing. <laughs> Same thing. Pentecost. Okay, Basically, so yeah, so ready. Oh God. You know, I, I party like this. <laughs> Devon. He's a mess. What? I'm saying. Um, what happened? So yeah, like it was. Um, I think. We had to do it over. We had to do it over. You had to do one because it was like late over. at night. Yeah. So we were like, all right. It wasn't late. It was like eight o'clock. So we had to be like home. I live right around the corner from her. And we had to get home like mm -hmm. around ten ish so we could get ready for church. So it was like an Adidas store. I love Adidas. I love Jeremy Scott. I love Adidas. So I, I love Jeremy, Jeremy Scott. Scott. Adidas. Hey. So it was like these <laughs> Jeremy Scott sitting in the window and I like just had to keep looking at them. And Brianna's just like, Amari, can you please, like, come on? And it's downtown Brooklyn. It was, like, Christmas season. And, and there's a lot of And sound. it's a lot of people yeah. and sound. So we Yo, had to do my, it over. All my actors, you must relate. Because when you're sitting mm -hmm. there and you're in your line, and you're in your moment, you're in your character, and the girls just hear somebody tapping a pen, you're just like, girl, what is that? Can you stop? <laughs> you I, mean, like, I mean, that's like that with almost anything. Like, yes, you just yeah. get easily distracted, even though you're not trying to be. Mm. But, like, even I'm really, studying, like, it's just right. anything. And it was his last collection, too. Mm. <laughs> sad. So sad. <laughs> okay, so um, what would you say is the most difficult part about the whole movie making process post fil um, filming? Is it pre-production, production, post-production? Post what is difficult for you? I don't, it, the, it all varies. Like, um, gathering the cast and crew can be a bit challenging because you want to find the right crew. Mm -hmm. You want to find the right cast that, that like matches your schedule. When it comes to filming wise, like it's not as challenging. It depends as long as you don't have the co a conflict with your actors, you're Absolutely. good. Um, most of the time, people don't show up to set on time. So when that happens, I'll just start without them, mm. and I'll just you know. You make it work. Yeah, just make it work. You know, just make it work. <laughs> <laughs> You'll take like a lot of um, hats, right? Like what? sound and. Remember yeah, that one time? yeah, yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> there was if, that if one somebody time. comes late, I'm, I'm like, I'm already, all right. Can you just hold the the, the, the mic yeah. and do this? And I'm like holding bags and mics. Yeah. I'm just looking like that's amazing. That's, that's yeah. all good. It's, right it's, it's it's all hard. Okay, and then post production, eh, it's not as difficult. I mean, as long as I have all my shots, if I have to do a pickup shot, then I'll do that. But post production gets it becomes really fun and creative. And, and, I, and I just like when the when the piece is all together. Yeah, it's just like to like see everything that you film yeah. come together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like she'll call you and be like, hey, um, yeah, can we'll you just swing by? Can I just film you again? I was at one part, actually. I was just at her house for dinner. She was like, Wait, all right, can I you like, I just, ha I just have to film this. Can you just go on your phone and just look through a book? And I'm like, Brianna, really? Like, you really need that? She's like, no, I really do. Like, just lay on my bed and like, just... Yeah. I'll just film you doing it. I'm just like, all right. The, yeah, that was a shot in one of the scenes. In the yeah, scene. so he was sitting yeah. in the dark and he had a book over his face. No, oh, no, 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 it was another one. one. It was okay. another one, yeah. 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 Yes. Mm -hmm. So one of the questions I asked Jordan when he was here uh, is that, you know, there are different types of directors. There are those who are more as a, the DPs. There's more, you know, they're more into the script writing or they're just more into like the actor and helping them develop their character. So which category do you fall in? Like which... Which just, director would you say you are? Which kind of director yeah. I am? Just director. Mm. Like, just she said I just direct you. Director. Do you I mean, I would, I would, I would do my, the DP. I would do the camera, but like I like to focus on directing to make sure the actor is like on point. Awesome. The writing is on point. But yeah, directing is mm. my thing. Yes. Okay, so before I ask this question, I'd just like to give our producer Tiffany um, so many props for so writing our scripts for us and like you know helping Woo! us with all that. Yeah, really we, we know it. it's and not easy writing scripts, nice. especially when everyone has a different personality, and mm -hmm. you want to like try to match it. Match it. Yeah, mm -hmm. you don't want to write something that like he wouldn't say. It's just like whoa. Mm -hmm. So it's no easy feat. How do you do it? Um. Well, well, with bittersweet or with any film that I made in the past, like I always write 
the characters that match ex kind of like the, their personality. So pretty much with the character Aaron, I kind of, no, that's, it's not even your personality, never mind. It's not. It's not. <laughs> but um, in a way, I kind of match the personality. I kind of match who they are and that, to mesh it together. Um, to, so that it kind of, so that the actor recognizes, like, hmm, that's kind of like me. So, and that's how they could relate to, and that's how they could, like. You but give, you, like, kind of, like, time for us to, like, play around. Yeah. With oh, okay. It. Yeah. Like, I always give them, like, a character description. And then we'll have a table oh, read and okay. see, like, how we can And then give them yeah. suggestions, like, oh, listen to this music, listen to that, to have that feeling, that moment. Yeah, music mm -hmm. is the most important part mm -hmm. of a film, I feel like. It gets it to the mood, and it sets the mood. So if your soundtrack whack, then you <laughs> might be Yeah, whacked. she was giving me, like, some, like, urban hipster music. and like To listen to? She gave you yeah, urban outfitters music? Yeah, and I'm like, no, give me, like, some trap. Like, <laughs> let me... No, he didn't. <laughs> no, he didn't want to hear... Like, um, I wanted to get ratchet. Evil, the evil album by Future. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Uh, so Bittersweet is very lighthearted and funny, might I say. But, mm -hmm. you know, you did another film that you wrote and directed. It's called Clasp. Mm -hmm. Yes, am I saying that right? Yeah. And that one deals with a really heavy topic, mm -hmm. heavier than uh, Bittersweet. So mm -hmm. let's take a look at that clip. Jay told you what I needed, right? Yeah. Upstairs. If he was upstairs, I would hear his loud footsteps come down here. The smell of alcohol would be strong. He'd yell at you at first and then you guys would get into it. That's if he was upstairs. Excuse me? But your father does everything for us. Yeah. Don't like he does it. Girl. Wow. Ooh, that Girl. was intense. Ooh. Girl. It was a tea. You have to tell me what's the I'm story shook. behind class. I'm going to tell you. Okay. Definitely. I'm shook. So what's the story behind class? All right. So. <laughs> <laughs> what's the story? So, what is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll tell you later. I'm no, shook. So know. pretty much um, Nancy is an 18 year old and she lives in an abusive environment. Okay. So she um, ends up. So. She wants a better relationship with her mother, but she can't because her mother is staying in that environment. So mm. at, towards the end, she makes a decision of either staying or leaving. Okay, so negative Nancy wants to be positive Nancy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got it. Yeah. Still shocked. <laughs> you know, okay. one you like, okay. well, I got it. I didn't think it was like a last moment. No, no. I, I thought it, it was, was funny. Yeah. Yeah. It was, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Thank yeah. You. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Let's switch gears and have you weigh on on some, thing, some things that have been going on uh, throughout the very year of Hollywood, honey. So <laughs> let's start with Zoe Saldana being cast in Nina Simone's Ooh. biopic. I know some argued that um, it was too, she was too He's light to play the shade. role. I'm not throwing shade. <laughs> I don't throw shade, I'm the sun. <laughs> and uh, you know, about her playing the role and Hollywood has a long history of having light-skinned people playing yeah. these type of actors. So, I mean, these type of people. So what are your thoughts on it? Because you know how Hollywood is. We could discuss it. So, what, what are your thoughts? What are both of you guys' thoughts as an actor and as a director? Can you start with it? They should have cast the India Ari. Mm. Because. Here for it. She would have had to, you know. She would have. She study. looks closely like her. Yes. That's. Yeah, it's just like. But it's like me playing, like. Um. I don't know, like a, a Kobe Bryant or something. Like, like, come on. Kobe Bryant, I think that's like the same complexion. <laughs> Right, but right, like, right, like, right. like, like, um, like Stephon Curry. Yeah, yeah like, mm. yeah, Curry, like, yeah. it just doesn't match. Mm. I mean, she yeah. black, but. I mean, she black. like, <laughs> that's how I felt. I felt like yeah. there's so many other people and so like, not even options. other actors who could have played that position. But the thing is, like, 
did Zoe kill that? Thank mm. you, and that's audition. what I said. Mm. When at, like being a filmmaker, like coming into, I'm saying, come when she probably she probably came into. There's some actors that are like, hi, my name is Jane Doe, and I'm gonna do. Zoe Saldana probably walked in there Knowing. with a cigarette in her hand, with the hair <laughs> ready. Was the character the whole time? Never like was Zoe Saldana. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And had and got that attention, and they just was like, let's we're just gonna have to work it out. And you know, at least they didn't get a white. If they would have gotten a white actress, no, then I would have been, been like, girl, this is okay. Not I mean, they would have was colored. Not so like, that would have been so. Well, um, there was a call to boycott the 2016 Oscars because of the long history of not awarding black actors. Mm. How do you feel about that? That is just very. It's disturbing. It's, yeah. It's like okay. and as because a black director so much, and a black actor, there's so much greatness. Feel? Yeah. And I'm not like pro, like yeah. you. It's like weird, like yeah. But I would say I'm gonna, like I'm gonna correct myself. At the same time, yeah. at the same time, it's so much greatness yeah. in everybody. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That everybody needs to be shown, like mm -hmm. not just one section. Mm -hmm. And you know, there's two sides to every yeah. story. I side with Oscars being so white, but understand that as you know, the Black Hollywood community, we need to search for things that expand Absolutely. us as actors, expand yeah. us as yes. directors. Because, you know, our movies are good, but sometimes they're the same plot and they're, they're the same amazing actresses and actors. We need to open up our actors. minds more. Yes. And not just be And, and Academy, open minded. your minds more too because you guys nominated Straight Outta Compton for Best Screenplay, but the screenplay was written by a white man who I questioned that a lot, but it doesn't matter. It should have been Best Picture. I think that uh, the guy that played um, Doc, uh, uh, Easy E, he should have been like best supporting actor, like like he that. He did really good. But I'll pick it back on job. it. Um, so as a filmmaker, mm -hmm. I mean, hearing that, I mean, I look at it as, as a positive aspect because, like, okay, so I make films to make a pathway for diversity and people of color. That's why, that's why when I build my portfolio, I make sure, okay, I'm casting this guy, I'm casting that woman to just make sure the role is right for them, not like a stereotypical role. Nice. So I would just always think of it as a positive view. Like this is gonna, yes. this is gonna strengthen me to like be better. I'm here for it. Yeah, awesome. exactly. Yes, I'm so here for it. Yes. Okay. So as an up and coming black female director, do you feel that women uh, get the recognition that they deserve in this industry? Not really. Mm, no, and, and and it's weird because I don't even hear that many women doing film. I mean. I hear a lot, but I don't hear it a lot in the media. Like I'm friends with maybe mm -hmm. some female filmmakers, but and I wish their films were showing. Like I just wish there are more opportunities. Yeah, more yeah. opportunities, more resources. Yeah. That's yeah. how I feel. But I, but then again, at the end of the day, I'm like, when we work together, if we just make pathways for other female artists, then it will, it will, it will, it will, it, it will build eventually. So I don't yeah. like to look at it. And that's why I'm proud of people like Ava DuVernay. Yeah, it exactly. just reminded me. And I actually yeah. interviewed her in like 2014 nice. for an article I did about the lack of female film directors mm -hmm. in the industry. So bringing that up. Yeah, she definitely yeah. told me about they how just she's trying to make that difference mm -hmm. and right. pave the way. And I think that's great. And they just, uh, like, it was this like, big thing. Um, Warner Bros. didn't really want to have a female director for Wonder Woman because they felt like, okay, it's already Wonder Woman. Mm -hmm. And they had to fight for it. And then there were two female directors that were fighting for the role what? of director. So I was just like, why was the fight in the beginning about it being, OK, it's already enough woman going on, so we need a male director. Mm -hmm. And I've seen the trailer. It looks like it's well done. So we'll see what that's about. Hey, okay. Wonder Woman. Hey, mm -hmm. Gal Gadot. What's going on? <laughs> okay. So black actors are often pigeonholed. As a black male actor, is there any role that you would say you wouldn't play? Like I would play any role okay. because I want to open myself up so people can see me in every aspect. Mm. But I would be very selective of what I pick myself right. to be in because I wouldn't just put myself in anything. You mm. know, you want to put yourself in a great quality of work yeah. so that people of great quality can see you in that work. And you want to be, be like, represented well. Very well. Mm -hmm. oh. yeah, I just said that so, like, mad. <laughs> I felt madness on my heart <laughs> very well. So right now, what are you two are currently working on? Are you only working on that secret project we were talking about earlier? Or are you working on that? We're working on that. We're working Exclusive. on... Exclusive. Exclusive. <laughs> so he's like, wait, wait, let's talk first. Just a little. Should we... Just, do you want to give a, like, a little hint? 
Give us the tea. No. Give us the tea. Give we just, tea. No, we're going to have to let you guys see. Like, like, yeah. We're working on two projects right lemonade. now. They're working on a lemonade project. <laughs> <laughs> we're working on the movie that we were telling you about. Okay. And then we're working on Bittersweet Part 2. Oh. I'm just waiting for my hair to grow back. Oh. Yeah. Because okay. I cut it off this week. Okay. And I'm working on stage managing at my okay. school show. Just get some hair affinity. Yeah. I mean, now, get some hair affinity. Yeah. Now, I have a suggestion. <laughs> From writer to what writer, is it, I think that the growing? sequel to Bittersweet, there should be some wordplay. Mm. Think oh. about it. We'll chat later. The script is already done, oh. but oh. we can't. But what about it's the so like juicy to the point where I'm, yeah. I read it and I was just like, it's a scandal. Much. What? Mm. It can't say too You much. can't. We can't say like I'm trying. I can't. Hold I can't wait to yeah. see it. I can't wait to see it. Sounds good. So where can viewers see your shorts? So it can be seen on Pivot Share or Indie Rain, I-N-D-I-E-R-E-I-G-N for just a dollar. Bam. Yes. That's awesome. Ultimately, what would you say you hope to achieve? I just hope this film um, reaches, okay, for, for instance, I've been doing a campaign for this film called Bittersweet Couples, pretty much to promote like awareness of love, like a hope for love, like online dating isn't always a solution. Mm -hmm. So I just hope this film um, inspires more people f um, for love, it gets into theater, so that it's, it's funded um, for part two. I just want the message to go across. Like, that's amazing. Something inspirational, memorable. We need something different in cinema, so. Mm. Now, before we close out the show, have to ask, okay? Are you ready? I love this part of when we ask this about certain people's in and on that cap. Top five directors and top five movies. Ooh. You can answer too. So let's go. This is a, this top five is directors. I want to see if we okay. have in common. Okay. First is Spike. You directors. I don't really have favorite directors. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. First is Spike Lee. Okay. Oh. Second is Derek C. in France. If you guys see the movie Blue Valentine or Place Beyond the Pines, he's an independent director. Yes, I heard of uh, Place Beyond the Pines, but I've never seen it. Um, third is Steven Spielberg. Very Caucasian. <laughs> Steven Spielberg, if you're watching, I, you probably are not. Boy, you are like the everything to me. Fourth, He's everything. this is sad because I forgot the director's name, but if you guys watch the movie what? Short Term 12 on Netflix, he's one of my favorite directors right now. Okay. And then it's myself. Oh, of course. Exactly. And she says it's myself. <laughs> is he across her legs? Would it look as Okay. So top five movies, five both movies. of you. Okay. You go first. White chicks, I love white chicks. Oh that is like. <laughs> no, <laughs> she she don't leave. Yeah. Oh, I was going. I was going like white yeah. chicks. White okay. chicks. Um, Rent. Oh my God, like Rent. Rent. No, can we talk about how underrated Rent is at Academy Awards? Because I, I mean, when I was younger, when it first came out, I was like, Yo, this needs an Oscar, and then they get nothing. Yeah. But it's Ooh. too late now because the movie like. So white chicks, years Rent. Old. Can I do like eight? Please. Five. Do you. Five years. Okay. Five. Six. Five. Six to satisfy you. All right, six. Um, right. White chicks rent. Hairspray. Yes! The new one, right? Yeah. Yes, the new yeah. one. The, the old new one. one. Straight um, in. Yeah. <laughs> bittersweet. Huh? Bittersweet, yeah. Class. And mm -hmm. um, last one. Six one. The live, the, the Wiz Live. The Wiz. Oh, okay. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Y'all know I was here for it. If you watched Nightcap when we talked about it, and my mother bought it on DVD. Because we're black like that. Oh my <laughs> Here for it. And you? Oh, top five movies. Okay, so first is Do the Right Thing. Mm. Second is Jurassic Park. Yes! Third, I'm going to name independent films. Blue Valentine, Short Term 12, mm -hmm. and also 500 Days of Summer. <gasps> oh my like, God, 500 Days of Summer had me crying. You didn't like honey. Bittersweet. You didn't like the starring actor of Bittersweet. Oh so my God. He was so yeah. hot. <laughs> <laughs> <Yo. laughs> He was hot. You're right. The director was too. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Give us a face. <gasps> oh, and a kiss. We have, to make, we have to make that as a gift. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we have to make that. Uh, no? Yeah? No. Oh, oh we're going to do two. Oh, uh, girl. <laughs> you trying to say, you're 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 trying to um, favorite movies, Bridesmaids, amazing <gasps> writing. I loved, writing. I loved when they um, um, did yes. the, 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 the doodle yes. scene. Brides, bridesmaids, um, mm, 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 mm. Mean Girls. Um, yes! yes. Uh, mean girls, another, yeah. it's, it's too much. Y'all want it. It's too much. Can I just name a third one? Yeah. Yes, go ahead. 
better one. Th Gone Girl. Gone Girl was mm. the most excellent film I've well, ever ben seen. Affleck. Favorite well, directors, see. David Fincher. Um, Steven Spielberg's in there, obviously. I gotta give Tyler Perry's credit. He's one of my favorites. Yeah. yeah. You know, like least favorite, but so whatever. Um, <laughs> Shame. And Paul Feige. Paul Feige. Uh, he did Ridesmaids. He did Ghostbusters. He's mm. bomb. I love him so much. He's a, he's a very humorous person. And yeah. How about you, Beverly? Honestly, I'm not a film person. I watch them. She like, my favorite movie is that movie that came on BET. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, like, I, I don't know movies, but like, I won't sit there and be like, oh my God, right. have you seen blah, blah, blah? It was my favorite. You know, like, I'll just watch it and then in my head, like, say, oh my God, I loved it. Yeah. Right. I won't really like it. Take right. note of it. Right? <laughs> I don't notice, like, the aesthetic things that, like, Devon would notice or, like, write down, like, oh my God, did you see when he blah, blah, blah? I'm like, nah. Yes, I'm, I'm always paying attention to detail. Yeah, small yes. things. Okay, so if there was one male or female actor that you could work alongside, who would it be? Answer this one. I got to keep thinking because I got a lot. There's so many. You got to pick one. Name, name Just one. name one. Just one. Oh, yeah. I got to pray on that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So while he prays on it, one. He really prays. Yeah, really one. Um, that is, that's really hard. Can I name two? At name, least? Two. Okay. name two. Okay. Uh, can it be a male and a female? Yes. Okay. All, right. All right. You go. You go. All right. So my first one, um, Brie Larson. Brie Larson, girl. You are. Her. You got a black car. You're invited to the cookout. Oh my her acting is amazing. It is. And room and. Even when she was in Trainwreck. Amazing. Trainwreck. Train wreck, Amy Schumer. Watch. Oh, her? yes, yes, I love her. Was beautiful. That was um, beautiful. second one. Of course, I gotta work with Will Smith. We Yo. Work Will Smith is. Yeah. I was just about to yeah. say that. For real. Will Smith and Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep. Yeah. Meryl Streep. Yes. I gotta get in there with Taraji P Henson and Viola Davis. Woo. I want Taraji to play my mother in a movie. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Sounds great. So. What's I'm yours? telling you, I'm not a film person uh, at just all. Nothing. Um, nothing. Who would you like to interview? Oh, don't do that. Girl said, I want to interview Brad, Angelina, and Jennifer. <laughs> Same room. <laughs> Probably, yeah. yeah. Oh, messy. messy. Yes. Messy. Ooh, messy. I like messy. Messy. Um, messy. Um, Brad, Jennifer first. <laughs> Jennifer Anderson. She want to know the tea. Oh, wait, she cheated Jennifer on be. No, no, no. Yeah. Brad cheated on her. Brad oh, loved her. Remember, when he did that movie, he thought he was cute. Mm. And went Wait, on Brad and, and Jennifer Anderson and were married? Yes, no, they were. They were married? They were married. Yes. I so it was. Was Scandal, and she was still in my friends. Just sad as hell. Oh my God. It messy. Was messy. Yeah. messy. 2004 was a messy year. Thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you for having us. We yes. love having you guys. Please check her out. Uh, what's the links again you can get her? Um, links to my work? Yeah, to yes. your shorts. Oh, to my shorts, Pivot Share and Indie Rain. Pivot okay. Share, Indie Rain. You can see Bittersweet. You can see Class, right? You on know, YouTube. Class? On YouTube. Mm -hmm. Fancy. And you can see their upcoming secret projects, honey. And keep a lookout for this one, because he's a really great actor. Iconic. Yes, iconic. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Until next time. Peace. This isn't over, honey, OK? OK? <laughs> Don't get cute. Get classy. <laughs> Gotta go. <laughs> Where are you going? Where well, we're just thinking. Oh, oh, I thought we, we moved sit? back over. No, 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 no. Oh, oh. Oh, oh we sit doing that whole thing? We never uh -huh. sit. So I'll just be like, I'll stay over here because it says I'll be over that's here. That's why I said, that's why I told Beverly to tell you that we just want to stay right So here. we got to do it all over again? Yeah. Wait, but that was and practice. That was practice, yeah. But it was Remember, good. Remember, the line, you don't say any lines this until so he says. This is so nasty. Did you put any sugar in it? No. It's black. It's so nasty. Well, Get into the actor life, honey. Oh. So listen, yeah. you're saying so you want to say is when he says it's not stolen if it's given to you. You don't say anything until Poli he says, Wait, that was perfect when you had me there. I was like, it's not stolen if, if it's, it's given, given to you. you. <laughs> you say, yes. When then Amari turns to you and say, are you giving him my lines? Then you walk over. Okay. okay? Then I walk over. All right. Okay. And you say, no, I'm not giving him your lines. He just wants to. But you did good in the beginning. Okay. Yeah, really please tell him I didn't say better, right. honey. Right, right. Okay. And then you all going to be talking. Don't move, Davon. Davon? Davon. And I'm sorry. <laughs> so just read the teleprompter, okay? Go back. A year of night camp. Okay. I didn't. I didn't. Yes, honey, welcome to the real. Hey.